Welcome. This is all Minus One Quick Shots. All right, folks, today we are going to talk a little bit about perspective. Because, as you may already well know, the entire world has lost its freaking mind. So, with that, I'm going to play this clip very briefly. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, that's about enough of that. Don't really need to go much further into it. That is um, an incident that happened at Bath and Body Works in Scottsdale, Arizona. You can go look up the news articles about it. I'm not going to get that far into depth about such things. But what was that about? What was that scuffle about? Well, initial reporting seems to have placed it about uh, a mask dispute and race. And this is what we are dealing with, folks. We are dealing with people fighting over absurdities. Who cares what your race is? Like, seriously. Folks are going out there going, well, you're white. Therefore, you have privilege and you're special. You think you're all this. Therefore, I get to be horrible to you. No, you're just justifying. You're evil. And people on the other side are going, well, you're black. You, you, you know, the black community, they have such a, a poor uh, upbringing and culture and whatever. Well, parts of it do. That's true. It's no different in the white community either. There is a lot of trash in, in the, the, uh, the European ethnic Caucasian group, right? There is. I know. I used to work in a jail. Trust me. Race is no discriminator amongst trash. Trash is trash, folks. But again... Why are we arguing over such trivial nonsense when our leaders in Washington, D.C. are pulling nothing but nonsense on us all of the time? So, not my favorite congressman, but regardless, not the worst either. Now, I know there's probably somebody out there who goes, Dan Crenshaw's horrible. Again, not my favorite. He's a, he's a little bit of a neocon light, in my opinion, but uh, there are far worse people out there. You have to pick your battles, folks. We need to quit arguing over stupid stuff and get stuff done. It needs to get done. Otherwise, you basically have, you know, a, a whole breakdown of who's going to do this, who's going to do that. People break off into factions and nothing is ever accomplished. Right? We need to stop arguing over trivial things. So in this tweet, it says the COVID package cost every single American $5,750. And then give some people $1,400. So what he's saying is, is that for the average taxpayer, it costs you almost $6,000. And then you're only getting back nearly $1,500 out of that original investment. He says, no, Biden is not a leprechaun. Um, he just bribing you and with your own money and, and footing your kids with the bill. And some inflation to top it off. Not some inflation, Dan. A ton of inflation. Have you read the Board of Governors report from the Federal Reserve? This is far more important. Now, I believe that everyone deserves stimulus. Not that I'm a fan of stimulus. But yes, do you deserve a stimulus check? Absolutely. Because the government made you stay home. They took your job. Right now, the gas prices are going up. But this is a temporary, short-term answer and it's not a long-term solution the reality is is that this is actually going to help expand our hyperinflation that we'll be hitting within the next two years we see the gas prices going up already we see how biden is bombing syria basically over a pipeline because we're trying to control who gets the oil is it going to be europe or are we going to allow it to go into russia while over here in the u.s we can be energy independent and he's putting a quash on that why? Because we cannot be more powerful than the upcoming Chinese, the Chinese that are coming to power, right? And we, we need to hobble and cripple ourselves. That way, there can be a, a world global hegemony based out of China instead of the U.S. It has to shift from one power to the other. Now, you might say, Bill, that's all ridiculous, blah, blah, blah. What's that have to do with people fighting in the store? Well, my point of all this is people are fighting in the store over stupid 
things. I want to remind you right now, if we're fighting over masks, this is from the Annuals of Internal Medicine. This is the Danish study. Now, the Danes looked at folks. I've talked about this several times. I've got the numbers a little bit wrong because I'm spouting off the top of my head. But essentially, uh, the participants were adults spending more than three hours outside the home with an occupational mask use, encouraging to follow social distancing measures, uh, plus either no mask recommendation or mask and so forth. And a total of 3,300 participants. I thought it was 5,000 before, but then the number is 4,862. So I'm not really sure. It was like a 5,000 participant and they divided them roughly in half. Randomly assigned to recommend it to wear a mask. Now there was no mask mandate in, um, in Denmark at the time. So that's important because unlike uh, many places in the US, and by the way, m- much of the world never had a mask mandate only for certain businesses like food handling or whatever. Uh, For the average citizen, there was no mandate. Anyways, it says uh, 2,994 were assigned to control. 4,862 completed the study. Nearly 5,000 people completed the study. And it says infection occurred in 42 participants out of that entire nearly 5,000 people who who ended the study. 42 people got it. 1.8% and 53 of the control participants, 2.1%. The between difference groups was 0.3%. This is not significant, folks, between who got it and who did not. They didn't, the mass didn't do anything, more or less. That's what the study is saying. Now, that brings me to this. This is a uh, new study from the CDC. It says, Association of State-Issued Mask Mandates and Allowing On-Premises Restaurant Dining with uh, County-Level COVID-19 Patients and Death Growth Rates, United States, March 1st, December 31st, 2020. And this was just released on the 5th. Now, it goes through the summary here, and it talks about here in the beginning, to fool you, it gives you numbers, uh, that the case growth rates were 41 to 100 days after implementation and increase in daily death growth rates from 61 to 100 days after implementation. And it comes down here and it's like, in counties where states required masks, the rates went down. In counties where they uh, didn't require an on-site restaurant dining, the case rates went up. Again, Statistically insignificant, though, because if we jump down just a little bit further into this article, it says during this period of time, state issued mask mandates apply to 73.6% of the U.S. counties. Now, at the same time, folks, let me assure you, I have shown this before on my channel, and if I find the video, I'll link it at the end. Participation in mask use is high. It's above 90% in all areas where it's mandated. In, in many areas, it's happening where people aren't mandating it. It says mass mandates were associated with a 0.5% decrease. And that is actually uh, 0.02 in daily case growth rates. And then it goes on to show some other numbers that are minuscule, almost nothing. And that is the justification of, well, it went down and it went up. Okay. Barely, though. Barely. It says they were associated with a 0.07% point decrease in daily death rates. Blow this up nationwide, uh, which this is, but but blow it up nationwide and on individual levels instead of just the CDC information. Compare state to state. Compare population density to levels, which I don't think any of this is doing. Take the Danish study. And then compare this to global mask use. See what you get. I'm telling you right now, none of this is statistically significant. And again, meanwhile, this is going on. The government is taking your money. They're inflating your money, which is a hidden tax, basically making your money worth less. And then they're giving it back to you to make you feel like, well, they did something. And many of you will uh, fall for that. And then, of course, there is the folks who are getting into physical altercations over this. This is absurd. This is insane. 
You need to start getting smarter. You need to start speaking up. You need to open your mouth. You need to talk to folks. It doesn't mean you need to be aggressive with them. The people we should be fearing is not someone not wearing a mask or not complying with all the COOF rules. The people we should be fearing are the ones who control the money supply. They're the ones who can tax you at will, and if you do not comply, we'll throw you in jail. They're the ones that can shoot you and make up any excuse why they can do so. Lock you up and decide to do so, and again, make up any excuse in which they think is necessary in order to protect the greater good of the nation, of the people, of the whatever. And it's complete nonsense, folks. It is complete, utter nonsense. But they have you fighting against your neighbor. They have you fighting over stupid things. Like if someone wore a mask or not. How about you just leave that person alone instead of wrestling them to the ground? Again, I don't have the full report of that story. It'll probably come out that it wasn't necessarily just that. There were probably several things going on there. But regardless, it is, uh, it's just silliness. It is absolute silliness to be fighting over such petty things when there are bigger issues happening. And you're going to see a lot more violence in the streets when people start going hungry as our economy crashes. I can promise you that. Will that lead to a, uh, a new uh, presidency? You know, in uh, four years, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, we do know that Biden is a one-term president by his own words. Most people don't think he's going to make it through this first term. And of course, the president doesn't dictate all of these things. These things are much deeper than one singular man. They go to the county level, to the city level. Of course, to each and every state and the governors in those states. Folks, it's time to start relying on your neighbors and your community and yourself and perhaps your family or your friends and to stop relying on the government. It has made you weak and docile and made you forget your priorities. And your priority is not fighting your neighbor in line while you're picking up uh, body wash or candles or bath bombs or whatever else they sell at, at um, Bath and Body Works. It's just it's insane that, that anybody would go to this level um, over mask. Like, let me physically fight you, not knowing if a weapon might be employed or involved, that I might get hurt in the struggle just because muscles get pulled and stuff happens. I don't know if you guys have never been involved in violence before. I, I've known guys that literally, big, very strong guys, power lifters that have, you know, grabbed a hold of somebody who's a scrawny 120 pounds and blew out their knee because they rotated wrong. They twisted wrong. It happens, guys. You don't understand how real violence works. Not if you're not if you're so uh, willy nilly about doing so, about in, uh, participating in such a thing. But in any case, guys, that's about all I have for today. Just some things to think about. Some things that are out there. This has been all minus one quick shots, and I wish you all well.